Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Through business, I had heard about triathlon back in 1980 when I did my first triathlon, a company that we represented was sponsoring a triathlon. I said, well, I can swim, and I was, had taken up jogging at the time, and anybody can ride a bike, you know, when you were a kid. And I said, sounds like fun. So I did it, and uh, my first one, and uh, I was hooked. It's the type of thing where uh, once you start and you get into a routine and you like it, it's very difficult to, uh, to stop and you don't want to stop. I'm actually 76 years old. It's been a wonderful lifestyle and uh, keeps you in shape. And you don't really destroy your body uh, like you do just concentrating you know, on one athletic endeavor. I swim with the team, with Team Total Training, uh, twice a week for an hour each time. Uh, I go to the gym twice a week, half hour each time. I work out with a personal trainer. And uh, I, ride, I ride the bike a couple times a week with a friend of mine from the neighborhood. And uh, I'll run once or twice a week. It's very helpful to get involved with the group because it's a wonderful uh, social um, environment. Uh, people are very encouraging. Uh, you learn an awful lot about health and fitness you know, from, uh, from your colleagues and from your friends. Triathlon is my primary focus. I was a collegiate swimmer, so swimming is, my, is the strongest of my three uh, uh, events. The most challenging aspect for me is running. It takes a lot more energy to run fast because, I don't know whether it's because of gravity or what, uh, whereas uh, swimming and biking, you know, you your body is supported either by the weight of the water or by your bicycle, so your heart rate doesn't get up as high. If you start to run with the same intensity as you're swimming, your heart rate will skyrocket and you can't sustain the effort. I went to the national championships uh, several times and qualified uh, to be on the United States triathlon team and we competed uh, at various spots around the world. Uh, my first one is this shirt that I'm wearing was in Hamburg, Germany, and that was, uh, it was very exciting. Uh, competed against wonderful athletes. There were about 30 some odd my age group. I was 70 at the time, seven years ago. And uh, I finished in the middle of the pack. I finished, I think, 18th out of 30 something. These routine is about a half an hour to 40 minutes. We focus mostly on the muscle groups that he needs to strengthen for his upcoming races. Triathlons requires him to have strong legs, requires him to have strong back for swimming, um, shoulders. What I do with my clients is I kind of just remind them that, you know, just show up. You know, he's coming in here after a 6 a.m. swim. He's coming in here, you know, maybe just feeling a little under the weather. He still shows up and he still manages to get the workout done. It should definitely be a part of everyone's life, you know, at least a half an hour, whether it be anything aerobic or anaerobic. Even if it's just lifting up a weight, you know, buying a couple dumbbells or resistant bands at your nearest store, um, just start somewhere. The important thing, of course, isn't the age, but the, your ability, you know, to, to live a rich, full life and to do it in, in good health. And of course, I've always had this fantasy of crossing the finish line at the mighty Hamptons when I'm 100 and then dropping dead. <laughs> I think it would be a great way to go. 